Good morning, everybody. My name is Alyssa, and I'm a yoga teacher, and I'm here to share with you about a beautiful practice. Um, it's the practice of mudras. Now, mudras are hand gestures or seals. And um, if you've ever been at a time in your life, like I have, like I'm dealing with right now, where your usual yoga practice, the asanas or the poses that we, uh, or shapes that we put our bodies through to arrive at that sense of peace and uh, inner calm, when those are not available to us because of some injury or um, you don't have the space or the time, we have many other beautiful practices in yoga that are available. And the practice of mudra using our hands or a hand yoga is right at our fingertips. So let me share with you a few of the mudras that I have found to be uh, helpful to me during this time when I have been recuperating from back surgery. So back surgery for a yoga teacher. Wow, can you imagine how restricting that can be? But I've done it very well. I continue to do very well. And I have yoga in the palms of my hands. So let us begin here. First, let's warm up the fingertips here. So let's just shake out the hands a little bit and open up the fingers and close them and open them and close them and open them and close them. Two more, open and close, open and close. Shake, 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 shake. And then rub your palms together. Let's generate some energy here, energy flow. So we begin with what is a very common mudra practice. You may not even have been aware that you are practicing a mudra when you do it in your yoga class or in any meditation. It's called Anjali Mudra. And it's hands at prayer and it means reverence, but it also is a sense that you are going inward and we connect um, the palms together and the thumbs are together, spread the fingers wide, or you can bring the fingers together, which is ever more comfortable for your hands. Bring the knuckles of your thumbs in close to your heart and gaze down, Anjali Mudra. Breathing in and out. Maybe you close the eyes here. Soften the shoulders down. Soften your face. Good. Connect to your breath. And then we bring a little movement or a little flow into our practice. Bringing the hands, rising them up. We can rise them to the space in between your eyes, your third eye chakra, or maybe even higher. I know you can't see them right now. And then bring your palms around and then back to your heart. Let's bring the hands up again. Maybe we just stay here at the third eye chakra. Open up. Palms can face forward and then bring them down and back to your heart. And with breath now, I'm going to move back a little so you can see me just a tad better. Again, bring palms at heart center. Inhale, the arms rise them up. Here we might bring them to the lips to bring reverence, mindfulness to the words that we speak to the third eye, noting our spiritual center. Arms rise up, out, and then bring them back into your heart. Now we can take Padra Mudra, where we bring the tips of the fingers, the uh, 
the pinky fingers together. I don't know if you can see that. And the thumbs together. And we open up the three remaining fingers like the petals of a flower. And so anybody who knows, uh, who has been to a yoga class where they've talked about the significance in meditation, in yoga of the lotus flower. The lotus flower is a flower that blooms in the muddiest, murkiest of waters, reminding us that from uh, distressing circumstances, we gain wisdom, we gain strength. There are many beautiful things that can grow, even though it doesn't feel like it. So we can bring the hands uh, the elbows are bent and maybe resting on the waist. The thumb can be joined to your sternum or not. It can be a little bit away. You can even rest the elbows on a surface if your upper body is feeling um, in need of support. So again, we gaze down and look into this flower, this lotus flower or padma uh, uh, Padma Mudra that you created. Inhale, raising the arms up. Exhale, taking the arms out to the side and bring them back together here into your lotus or padra. And then inhale, rising up. Exhale, out and around, bringing them back to the center, looking down into your lotus. Exhale. One more time, big breath in as we rise up. Exhale, hands down, push away this time, bring hands together, pinkies join, thumbs join, gazing down. Palms come together. Back to Anjali Mudra. few breaths, finding some space for gratitude here, some intention that you have to find some calm, some tranquility in your life as you navigate the murky waters, the muddiest of waters, and find some meaning or maybe there is no meaning. Maybe you can't find any meaning right now, but you know that you will rise because you can gaze back on all the times in your life when you have risen and bloomed again and found the light. Always, always reaching toward the light. Take a few cleansing breaths here. Inhaling to your depth, nothing forced, gazes down, maybe eyes close, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Sealing the hands at the heart. Connecting to your innermost desires, wishes, and then releasing your attachment on them. Finding your true nature that will be okay whether or not they're fulfilled. Letting them be. And then bringing your thumbs to your lips. trying to find compassion and kindness and purpose and expressing that through your words, knowing the profound effect that your words have on others and on yourself. And then bring your thumbs to the space between your eyes, your third eye, your spiritual source, Sealing it all with reverence and faith. 
releasing the hands, bringing your one palm over the other, resting it in your lap. A bit of meditation, the left hand resting on the right hand. Mindful breathing here, just watching the slow and steady rise of your chest and falling as though you're watching it from a distance. Let the breath steady you. Allow yourself to follow the breath and the breath to follow you. Three, four, three or four more mindful, connected breaths here. And then once again, palms together in your lotus pose, your lotus mudra. Thumbs connected, pinkies connected. The other three middle fingers blooming as the lotus blooms. And palms together, Anjali mudra. May you rise like the lotus at peace in the muddy waters with faith, goodness, and love. Be well, my friends.